Hi. So here is the uh, actually the EIS raw data after the cycling. So I'm going to feed this one and then show you how you can um, uh, go through the process. So first you go to the analysis, um, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy, and then jet fit. When you, when you get this window, you need to fix up something uh, like the fitting parameter. First is the method, which method you want to use? Like there are several methods. And then I use uh, random simplex, uh, random plus simplex method I use there, but there are several methods you can try, uh, which I find for my um, uh, sodium sodium symmetrical cell uh, is perfectly fit here. And then is the iteration below, how many, how much, uh, I mean, how much iteration you use? Normally, uh, some people use 100 iteration, uh, some people use longer. So I use actually 5,000 ppm so that the, the more iteration value you um, you can get the perfect fitting. Actually, you need to focus on those x square value uh, and x uh, over root uh, capital N uh, number of uh, cycle values. So as long as those value uh, usually um, below one. So once un unless you get those values, you need to um, uh, uh, increase the iteration and then fitting, uh, see which method is perfectly fit. So I choose those value. Now the most important thing is the choose of the uh, circuit model. So you can edit it. So in here, uh, here actually uh, predefined uh, mini circuit. And then um, there is, this one is the two component layer model. This one is the three component layer model without uh, Warburg diffusion. And this one with Warburg diffusion. And then this is two component layer model with Warburg diffusion. But if you want to think that this is not the correct, you can actually draw by yourself. How I'm going to show very, uh, um, show one, how you can draw it. Um, so there are some elements, those, uh, the like this is resistance, um, capacitance, constant phase element, uh, Warburg diffusion and other values. And there is a linker you need to link uh, to draw the circuit. So let's say I don't want to Warburg diffusion here first. So you, what you can do, you can just cut it and then you can add, um, add a component. Like first I add a, uh, before component, you need a link. So there are, as I said, there are three, there are three types of linkers. So I just wanted the parallel split one. So it, it is coming here. So if you say this is not correct, you can either um, just uh, link the change it. You can prepare it here or you can just cut it or, or decide by yourself. So you can just click a split. So add here. And then uh, you can add one component, like uh, you can use the capacitor or I just say constant phase element. So it's come here. So it's parallel. Normally resistance and CP, uh, they are parallel. So I use a one, one of the element, uh, the resistance value. So that's, that will be the resistance value. And then I need to finish the circuit model. So I add a linker for parallel join. So has come here so you can you can just do it this way and then if you think you need warburg diffusion and then you can just add the component of the warburg so it's coming so you can just add it after this you can just select all the elements and then right click to align it so they will be aligned and after that if you want to copy um, copy it, you can just uh, copy it or you can use sniper tool to cut and then paste it to the word or PPT, whatever you want. And the equation you can actually already define, you have three, so you can add here. So R4 over Q4 plus Warburg, this is your, um, this is parallel, this is your equation. So once it, you fix up your equation, you can Good, okay, so I use actually go back to 
two component layer model with Warburg diffusion, then okay. So it's come and then you can do the minimize. So, so it takes some time to minimize. Um, as the video, I, I don't want to go longer. So I will just once uh, one trial, I will just show the values how you can select, but it, because it's not fixed up. So you will just do uh, change it because I, I will not take this one. This is not correct. So I start from here. So if I if I put it here, it goes back to the again, it goes back to the uh, uh, I mean, it's, it, it goes back to the 500 iteration. I just show the value. You can see this x square and then x over n root value is quite higher. So you need to minimize and do the iteration. And then how do you select, how do you get your data? The first one, R1, always the electrolyte resistance. And then you have the surface resistance and charge transfer resistance. In the surface resistance, how you select which one is your surface resistance value. You just look for the a2 value. So this is the A2 value. This is 0.7. This A2 value is zero. That means um, because this is not correct actually. So let's say this is the real value. So so this R uh, this R3 will be the uh, A2 zero. That means it, it should not be zero. It should be like its value like one or or more. Whenever this two A2 A3, which one lowest you related to those one you get the uh, resistance value like this is the lowest one say this is one so that will be the surface layer resistance and this will be the charge transfer resistance value and then the, the related to the q2 and r2 the value uh, respectively selected and then because i want i don't want to longer the video i just show how you can get all the information from here once you get those uh, x square value uh, below one, uh, this value below one, you just accept it, and then you get uh, the. It will be, it will be automatically goes to your folder. This these values, or you can select and cut copy data. One of the thing I'm showing you here, you do the pseudo capacitance. What is the pseudo capacitance value? Because from this ES setting, we can estimate, we can calculate the surface layer thickness value and the capacitance value. So uh, to measure the surface layer thickness, we need the capacitance value. So uh, I, will, I, 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 I will show later how, what is the equation and then how can we get all the information from the equation. So one of the uh, data that you can get it from the pseudo capacitance, uh, So, because it, it's, it takes a lot of time. I mean, you can get the... Maybe I have to put it here and then it will be minimize and then it will show me the pseudo capacitance value. So just give me a second. So it comes. So this is the, the capacitance value, the C2, C3. Uh, because it's none, because I'm not set up it yet, but um, this is the way we can, uh, this is the method that you can get all your information from the fitting data. So go back to the PPT.